Me and my goat crisis. We are so back. Yes, sir. We are back to that to discuss another Rocky Karate Kid matchup. This time we have Damien versus Mike Barnes, the two three cool villains coming face to face and showing who's simply the stronger fighter. Obviously, this video contains spoilers for Creed 3, so if you don't want to see any of that, then click off. But I didn't think I really needed to say this because this video is literally called Mike Barnes versus the antagonist of Creed 3. Now, let's start off with Mike Barnes, who is known as the biggest menace in the Karate Kid verse. Mans not only was the strongest villain of the trilogy, but bro completely dismantled Daniel in every fight they were in. Daniel got slammed so badly that Mike legit invoked fear into him and had to force him to get an amp and confuse Mike with Kata. Now, a lot of people like to say here that he's a lot stronger than Daniel, and although I have my own opinions about that, I'll just say for the sake of the video that it doesn't matter as regardless he's the strongest villain Daniel's faced, meaning he upscales from Johnny and Chosen's martial arts prowess, which is capable of folding black belts casually. Mike himself, even before training, was known as a world champion and was regarded as a goat in the karate world. We even see how, even as an adult, Mike's skills don't really decline, and because of that grown manpower to help him out, he's able to scrap with a Chosen who's quite literally mastered almost every secret of Miyagi-Do. Along with even helping Johnny and fighting Kim Da-Un's goons, all masters of Tang Soo Do, which is basically the clubber Lang equivalent of karate. It's clear although he isn't the strongest dude around anymore, he's still somehow able to keep up with the ghosts, all the while selling furniture. As for his stats themselves, well Mike even as a kid is casually breaking solid brick with his bare hands for training, and we see him scaling to the adults later on who we see breaking stone as adults and even kids. The speed scaling for the verse kinda stinks as the best feat is Daniel catching a fly and Miguel reacting to a base baseball machine, which at best makes the verse subsonic. Regardless of if you think they are moving at human speed or not, it really doesn't matter for this debate as we aren't going to see Mike be a blur to Damien or vice versa. They are for the most part normal guys. Unfortunately, that's all I can really say for Mike as bro has about a total of an hour of screen time for the whole verse. So it's simpler to approach his scaling than let's say Daniel's for example. Diamond Dame Anderson might be the most personal antagonist we've seen in the Rocky Creed series. Straight up just coming for Adonis's throat, his dad's gym, calling him out on TV, saying he's a fraud, decking him in the face, bro's a menace. And it doesn't just stop at scheming or name calling. Damien's a real threat in the ring. As a youth around 18 years old, he was the Golden Gloves amateur champion, the Golden Gloves being a fairly prestigious organization hosting yearly tournaments. Damien even says himself that there was a time that he was the greatest amateur boxer ever. He manages to spar with and KO the current heavyweight world champion, Felix Chavez, who is the most recent top tier of Delphi's gym, with training from Duke Jr. and Adonis Creed, and managed to go the distance with Creed himself, only being KO'd in the last round. Adonis, of course, being the former heavyweight champion himself, with training from the legendary and prior detailed Rocky Balboa, and even skilled derived from his own father, Apollo Creed, as imparted through Balboa. Damien's own fighting style consists of strong defense, fair footwork, strong jabs and hooks, focused combinations, and evasive maneuvers, all wrapped up in his utter lack of sportsmanship, adding in illegal kicks and elbow strikes, clenches, and a cunning employment of prep time, basically. Orchestrating his spar with Chavez and injuring him, as Felix would be holding back as is the norm in sparring, to then capitalize on this weakness he created cunningly in their eventual actual match. In terms of raw statistics, Damien is pretty clearly peak human, seeing as he clashes with top tier boxers left and right, with the minutia of his scaling to the rest of the Rocky series better being left until later in the video. Unlike the last matchup, it seems here that Mike actually has a pretty good shot at winning this thing. Not only does Mike fight dirty, but does this in a much more refined way than Damien, so he isn't going to catch Mike by surprise fighting like this. This is pretty much Damien's whole thing skill-wise, and to say he's going to outskill Mike when he mainly cheats seems kinda unfair to me. Mike holds a very high reputation as one of the best of the best in Karate Kid since even before his actual training, he was already considered a world 
world-renowned champion in the karate world. So, to say Damien would throw something that would catch Mike off guard seems pretty unlikely. As for their attack potency, well, Damien's only scaling is to an out-of-prime Adonis Creed, and he's only doing as well as he is because Adonis is holding back. And once he stops holding back, he pretty much just folds. Adonis in his prime would be around the same level as Rocky in Rocky 3, who as we all know, probably wouldn't hold up all too well to Ivan Drago, considering after his rugged training in the Russian Tundra, he was stated to be stronger than ever in Rocky 4. There's really just no way to say that Damien is even probably surviving a solid hit from Drago. Meanwhile, Adult Mike upscales from all the wall level stuff in the series. Like Chosen, Tori, or Adult Johnny all being capable of smashing solid stone, and Mike himself while training is breaking bricks with his bare fists. We just don't really see anything like that in the Creed series. So even though Damien does have the size advantage, his strikes wouldn't break Mike down like he did with Felix. Let's just imagine the fight scenario real quick. Damien and Mike bump into each other on the street, leading into them just throwing an on-site blow. Damien's larger size would be tough for Mike to deal with, along with his street fighting style of combat, but Mike would rely on his past knowledge, along with his surprisingly superior strength, despite the weight difference and this being fiction and all, to slowly weaken Damien until he is at a point where Mike can legit just eat punches and not be affected. Low key, this is just a closer Ivan Drago versus Apollo with likely the same result. In conclusion, Mike folds Damien like a lawn chair.